Hello folks, I'm Ownspac33, and welcome back to the Pokemon Trading Card Game, Part 15. Due to popular demand, just like the Evolution deck, I got for you today the Bland deck. What's the Bland deck, you ask? Lightning energies are just a filler, because this deck comprises entirely of colorless Pokemon. Uh, which is probably a bad idea, because some of these guys, well, Spearow anyway, and Farfetch'd, are weak to lightning. And guess where we're going next? Also due to popular demand, uh, we're going to the Lightning Club. So yeah, you can't have all double, double colorless energies in your deck, by the way. You can only have up to four, because they, they're not a basic energy card. Uh, let me go over that real fast here, actually. I never really went into depth what a double colorless is. Uh, so basically, it provides two colorless energies. Uh, it's a one card that provides two colorless. Uh, which is very helpful for colorless Pokemon, obviously. Uh, it's not a basic energy card, so when cards ask for a basic energy card, that means you can't choose this one. That includes energy search and energy retrieval. Um, and you can't have unlimited amounts of these in your deck. You can have only up to four, because uh, it's named double colorless energy, and it's not a basic. Basic energies are the only cards you're allowed to have more than four in a deck of. So, there you go. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's double colorless. Let's check out the lightning co uh, club lobby. Who would you charge up playing Pokemon trading card game? Gotta be a master. A level 20 Lekabuzz. We want a level 35 Lekabuzz. This seems like a ripoff for us. I don't know if we have one. No, we don't have a Lekabuzz yet. All right. And then this will tell us about the lightning club. Strong against water. Weak against fighting. Requires lightning energy to attack. I only chose lightning energies because we're going to lightning club, so I figured it kind of match. All right, but here's the lightning club. Probably the coolest looking of the clubs because it's like a, I don't know, it's like a dance club kind of. It's got all the lights everywhere. It's like it's got the stage here. So it's pretty cool. So let's take on the uh, first uh, opponent here, Jennifer. Isn't Pikachu totally cute? Oh yeah, it's so cute. Want to duel? Okay, so she's got a Pikachu deck. All right, it's just called Pikachu deck. Uh, as you can probably guess, there's Pikachus in this deck. Uh, there's a lot of variations in the Pokemon trading card game of Pikachu. It's, it's the most popular Pokemon, right? So obviously there's a lot of cards to go with it. In this game, not in addition to Pikachu, you also have Surfing Pikachu and Flying Pikachu. Uh, which both can, because they have different names, you can have up to four of those in a deck along with the other two types of Pikachu. So that's a possible 12 Pikachus you could have in a deck. Alright, so let's stall with uh, Kangaskhan. And we'll put our Jigglypuffs out there. Because we have Wigglytuff, so that's pretty sweet. We'll, we'll build up Wigglytuff for the uh, do the wave attack. Alright, now we got here another Wigglytuff. Sweet. So there's Surfing Pikachu. There you go. We haven't even seen this yet. You would have seen it if. A little error didn't happen in a video, but uh, so Surfing Pikachu requires two water energies to attack. It's uh, still weak to fighting, and it's still lightning though. So if you had a water deck and you were like, "Hey, I want some uh, some lightning in my deck," you could put Surfing Pikachu in, and it wouldn't be any fault to you because you could use Surf. So obviously she must have some water energies in her deck uh, in order to have Surfing Pikachu, or else that'd be pretty pointless. So let's build up. Uh, Jigglypuff here on our bench. Do the wave requires three energies, so we're gonna have to wait. Now, I might attach a lightning energy. Oh, there's Farfetch. So we need as many ends on our bench as possible because that's what uh, Wigglytuff's all about. We want a full bench for Do the Wave, do up to 60 damage. But we'll attach a energy to Kangaskhan so we can we can get some extra cards here, so we can speed up this duel. We don't want to run out of cards now, but we're gonna take advantage of this. Ah, oh, she got heads. Pokeball. I have really went into this, but it's kind of a crappy trainer. She got lucky with it. If you get tails, it does nothing. But if you get heads, you can choose any of your Pokemon out of your deck. Uh, there's a lot more effective trainers than Pokeball. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. But anyway, let's get Wigglytuff 1 ready. We'll use Fetch. I'm drawing two cards a turn here. So hopefully we can get like that double colorless out so we can retreat Kangaskhan out of there, because I believe he has three uh, retreat cost. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Oh, we have a switch. Perfect. That's perfect. We'll use that. 
Uh, she has her Pikachu built up on her bench, but that's no problem with me. We'll use Switch here, and we'll get Wigglytuff out. And now we can use Do the Wave, which will do 10 plus 30 damage. Which is 40. <laughs> There we go, we got a wrecking machine right now in Wigglytuff. Alright, and we'll build up another Wigglytuff, why not? Just in case this one gets defeated. Uh, we're in good position right here, Wigglytuff do the wave. Very powerful, because Wigglytuff's weak to fighting, and she got no fighting in her deck, so... I'm not too scared. Alright, who's she gonna damage on my bench? Farfetch. Farfetch is like 50 hit points, you can take it. It's too bad we didn't have one more Pokemon, we could end this duel. But oh well. We got pretty lucky in this fight. We got <laughs> we got two Jigglypuffs and two Wigglytuffs. Like, that couldn't have gone any better. We completely stomped her strategy of Pikachus. <laughs> She's a pretty simple opponent. I gotta be honest. She has no- I don't think she has like any surprise Pokemon like Zapdos or something. Pretty sure it's just all Pikachus. So yep, yeah, there's Jennifer defeated. She gives you the mystery booster pack. So I'm surprised not Coliseum, because that's Pikachu on the cover. You would have thought they would have put two and two together. Ooh, sweet, another double colorless. Excellent. Alright, is uh this is the fossil Zapdos. I don't think we have this guy yet. Uh but basically what you do Uh <laughs> this guy can do a lot of damage to both himself and your opponent's bench. Uh, you flip a coin for each opponent, uh, each of his, your opponent's bench Pokemon. If heads, you do 20 damage to the bench Pokemon, and tails, you do 10 damage to yourself. So this attack can uh, can either if you if the guy's got like five bench Pokemon, you could do 50 damage to yourself, or you could really hurt your opponent's bench. So so yeah. Ooh, and there's Aerodactyl. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. The three uncommon guys we got were the EV evolutions. Uh, but Aerodactyl is the last of the mysterious fossil evolutions. I don't think we have it yet. Uh, but its Pokemon power prevents Pokemon from evolving. Uh, which, ironically, Aerodactyl is technically an evolved Pokemon because it evolves from the mysterious fossil trainer card. Uh, and then Wing Attack does 30 damage. So if your deck's all about not ev uh, not having evolutions besides Aerodactyl, it might not be too bad. But anyway, uh, let's mix up the bland deck here. We got another double colorless, so let's take one of those lightnings out and put another double colorless in, making it slightly more effective. and save it. Alright, uh, who's the second guy we're going to take on? We'll take on this guy over here. Brandon. I wonder what Isaac's doing. Isaac's the leader of the, uh, of the gym. Not the gym, this is the club. This isn't, what, what is this? This isn't Pokemon Red and Blue. Alright, so Brandon's got the Power Generator deck. I don't remember what this one's all about. I think Power Generator, maybe it's all about getting energy cards into his hand or something? I don't know. Uh, Spearow's not a good matchup here. Because presumably he's got Lightning uh, in his deck. Spearow's weak to Lightning. I should have shouldn't have put Spearow and Fearow. Uh, in this deck. I wasn't really thinking. He's got Eevee, so he's gonna have Jolteon. That's pretty obvious. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we get here. What's he got? He's got Zapdos. Okay, so he's got Lightning, guys. He's all about the Lightning. Okay. So who do we build up? Jigglypuff or Zapdos? Or <laughs> Zapdos. I will build up Jigglypuff, I guess. I got no other choice, really. That's all I got. No point using first aid because I'm not hurt. Hopefully you get tails. Get tails. Ew. This is a familiar matchup. The Eevee Le Lucian deck had a matchup of the promo Jigglypuff versus uh, versus Eevee. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like the reverse now. <laughs> All right. I knew he was gonna get heads. Alright, this this duel ain't looking too good for us. We need some basic Pokemon here. That's Furo. Not a basic Pokemon, but not a bad card. Because uh, he doesn't have anything on his bench, really. I'll use uh, First Aid again. But I can do some damage with Furo. Furo can do up to 40 damage. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Because, uh... 
because Fiora's weak to Jolteon. That's why that's not good. And I think this guy has Pin Missile. Yeah, I can do up to 80 damage, which is 160 to, uh, to Fero. So not good at all. Alright, how many, uh... Energy oh, Jesus, Fero, he needs three. Okay, we can't evolve that, that's right. Uh, we'll, we'll attach that... What am I gonna use it on? Fero can die really fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out uh, Raticate. I want to get the chance here. And when Raticate dies, I can uh, use Energy Retrieval and get two extra energies back. Die, ah, he's got Pit Missile though. This sucks! <laughs> this is not good! Ooh, Jigglypuff might live! Ah, he almost did. <laughs> or she. Jigglypuff's commonly referred to as a girl. I don't. I think there are male Jigglypuffs though. I don't know. Let's get Rattata out there, who's soon to be uh, Raticate. Which is right now! Let's get far fetched out there. And then nothing else I can really do here except bite. Uh, so I'll use that. Do 20 damage. If I can do another 20 damage, uh, then I all I need is to do is draw another uh, energy. Of course, if he gets three heads, I'm done for. And he might! Ooh. Because uh, Fero's agility can do 30 damage. There we go. That's all I needed. That's exactly all I needed. I can discard... Uh, once Eradicate bites the dust here, I can discard Persian to get uh, my two lightning energies back and get Jil a drill pack ready. Alright. Use quick attack? Oh, I guess quick attack. That wouldn't have guaranteed a kill. That was kind of stupid. I mean, if he would have got tails, I would have lived. That wasn't very smart. I mean, you, he had four chances to kill me with, uh... There's another energy retrieval. Right, I'll get rid of Persian here. Like, that was, that was not a smart idea. Anyway, we're gonna use uh, agility. Because if I... I could kill... Oh no, I'm gonna use drill pack and kill him. I thought agility did 30 damage. Okay, we're gonna use drill pack. Because agility, if I get heads, I don't take damage. Alright, let's get back in this game here. He's got Pikachu. Pikachu, he didn't attach lightning energy to him. That was kind of dumb. So I could... No, oh, that's not good. Alright, what we're going to have to do here? We're going to have to build up Meowth, I guess. I got rid of Persian, so that sucks. I don't think I have another Persian. Let's go on his bench, Eevee and Zapdos. Well, Drill Pack does 40 damage anyway. So I'm gonna use Agility, which won't do any damage, but if I get heads, he doesn't hurt me next turn. So there we go. I mean, I'm not doing damage, but now neither is he, and next turn I can take him out. Would've been no different, unless he evolves, which he didn't, thankfully. Alright, Gambler, we're gonna use that, because why not? Only, the only card I have to lose is Energy Retrieval. Uh, Gambler, I guess I haven't even shown this, but you shuffle your hand into your deck, so I don't lose Energy Retrieval, it goes back into the deck. But if I get heads, I get eight cards, and tails, I get one. And I got heads, so not bad. There we go, it's like a Super Professor Oak. Well, it's a, it's a lucky Professor Oak. He's a Professor Oak Gambler. Alright, there we go, we got some bench. No, we got some of my bench up now. Now we got some energies to work with. Which is good. And now we're gonna kill this Pikachu with Drill Pack. Take him out. Who would have thought that uh, Fero would be pretty useful in uh, taking out. Oh man. Well, I can use Switch. I'll probably use Switch. I think Fero can retreat for free. Yeah, he's got free retreat cost. Fetching or evolving either Pokemon ends this effect. Okay, so here's how you be a cheater in the Pokemon trading card game. You look for a Pokemon that has no retreat cost, which is none of these. I think Rattata has no retreat cost, though. Yeah. So you play Rattata down. I'm gonna build up something else here. Do I got any evolution cards? I got Raticate. Oh, we'll build up Tauros. Tauros is awesome. Build up Tauros. And we retreat. 
to Rattata. And then we retreat back to Firo. <laughs> and now I can attack. How dirty is that? <laughs> I'm using agility once again so I can't uh, take the effects of his attack, because I can't kill him in one turn anyway. And he retreated. He did something similar to what I did. Crazy. Alright, we can't play Clefairy because I have a full bench. Too bad I didn't have uh, Wigglytuff. That would have been a powerhouse. What's Electabuzz need to attack? Two? Okay. I'm not worried then. I'm gonna use Drill Peck. And then I'll use Agility next turn. Unless he gets a double color list, which he didn't, so. That's good. There's my Wigglytuff! Alright. Well, let's build up uh, Wigglytuff then. Tauros is good and all, but Wigglytuff is better. Well, it's better with a full bench. I got a full bench, it'll be doing 60 damage. Like, guaranteed. And there's a double colorless. Sweet! Alright. We'll attach the double colorless to Wigglytuff. And we're gonna get uh, Firo out of there, and we're gonna bring a Wigglytuff. Do the wave. This is the full potential of this deck, I guess, is Wigglytuff's do the wave attack. 60 damage. Unless he's got a switch, he's done. And he doesn't. Alright, let's finish up the duel. This has gone very well. It's been a good day for me. I actually recorded something else today that uh, I don't want to say anything about, but it successfully recorded and went well, too. We beat Brandy, he's gonna give us Coliseum Booster. It's got Item Finder, it's our first Item Finder. Discard two cards from your hand to put a trainer from your discard into your hand. Not bad if you want to reuse something like Professor Oak uh, or uh, Computer Search, which allows you to discard two more cards to get something into your uh, to get something guaranteed into, from your deck into your hand. So yeah, Item Finder is pretty good. Another Magic Carp. Of course, we're getting all these Magic Carps now. Now that I'll probably make a Gyarados deck maybe later on. Ooh, Gertie, another pincer. I don't have enough of those. Mm, potion. Cool. Alright, guys. That's been Pokemon Trading Card Game, part 15 for the day. Colorless deck went really well. Really tough. Owned some face. Same with Firo. I'll see you next time for 16 when we take on this guy and the leader, Isaac. Until next time, I'm in Owen Spack 33. Bye now.